Hey, fishy people. Um, second part of how I prepare my dirt. So my dirt's been sitting. Uh, it should be sitting longer than it has been, but I'm impatient. So, um, uh, after it's sat for a while, you are going to want to rinse it a little bit and get all the perlite out. So I'm dumping all of this soil into a big old garbage can filled with water. Getting it all nice and wet, breaking up all the little particles because I want, if you can see this white stuff, um, it's, it's glass. It's a puffy, puffy version of glass and you don't want that in your filter and it floats and it's obnoxious so I need to get all of that out. And not all potting soils have this but the one I like unfortunately does. So I've got to get rid of it but that's easy because um, I was going to rinse this dirt anyways and it floats. So I'm just going to skim it off the top. Uh, yep, one sec. Okay, so I got this mixed up real well, stuck my hand down real nice and deep, broke up all the clumps, you know, I want to get as much of this stuff floating to the top as possible. Uh, this is probably 40% perlite floating up top here, and the rest is just larger organic matter. And some of this larger organic matter you could eventually get to uh, take up water and it would sink, and it wouldn't necessarily make a mess in your tank, but at the same time, the larger particle sizes mean it's not going to break down very quickly. So it's not it's not doing you a whole lot of good. Uh, so you might as well just get rid of it. You know, if it's not going to help and it could cause some problems, might as well get rid of it. Uh, so it's pretty easy. You know, scoop this stuff off the top. Uh, after mixing it up, I do like to let it sit just a set. You know a few minutes before I do this because I don't want to be scooping up any of that clay or a good silt that might just be in the water from getting stirred up. I want that to settle a little bit before I scoop this out. But yeah, I'm going to scoop this out and drain the water off and I'll start shooting from there. So give me a second. Okay, so here's my bucket of stuff I took out, which is not bad. I, I've got a single bucket of stuff I took out, and it's all wet. And I put in um, several, you know, six plus buckets of, of other stuff. So I didn't lose that much, and uh, don't throw this away, because this is great gardening material. You know, a lot of good compost and a lot of perlite, so awesome. Um, water here, you know, it looks dirty because there's dirt in it, and we actually want to keep the dirt. Uh, washing out some tannins and some of the nutrients in the water is a good thing, but the dirt we actually want to keep, and most of that that's not settled yet is silt and clay, which is, you know, I, I put time into adding, so I'm going to let this sit for an hour or two until the water clears up and all that settles down. I'm then very, very gently going to siphon out the water, or as much of the water as I can. I mentioned in the the earlier video that this has a uh, it does a couple good things. It's rinsing out some of the tannins, and it's um it's ri rinsing out a lot of the excess, not needed algae bloom material. You know the excess nutrients that that are water soluble and immediately available that I just don't need because I pack this full of slow release organic amendments and I've charged all of my clay so it's just not necessary and I don't want it so I'm going to be draining all that off um, but first I have to give this a couple hours to sit and after I do that I'm going to drain that tank, put the dirt in, put a sand cap on top, go pick up my plants because it's Wednesday which is going back to the fish store I'm almost there every Wednesday which is my day off to pick up more plants and fish um, but yep, I'll be doing all that. I'll set this up and, uh, update the video then. Uh, so I skipped the process. I drained the tub. Um, I'm now bucketing mud into the tank. Because that's the next step. Uh, this is what the mud looks like. Mmm, mud. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I'll keep updating. Okay, so we're at the next step. Um, as always, I slowly fill my tanks. I fill a bucket, put my water conditioner in, 
and then uh, I just put a sock in there so it's dribbling into the sock tank slowly filling I've got a nice big bag of plants to go in it once it's filled so I'll keep updating yep that's where we're at uh, getting there uh, and there it is there's a um, there's a dirty tank it's it's still cloudy you know it's it's got to settle but you got your dirt you got your sand on top, uh, you got your plants. I always recommend planting as heavily as possible as soon as you're turning your lights on to your dirted tank because you know you, you're still gonna have higher nitrate or higher nutrient levels than in you know a gravel tank. And you want to burn those off as fast as possible and the best way is a lot of plants if you don't want algae. Um, it's looking good. Looking nice and bright. I've got some CO2 hooked up. Uh, I, I am going to make a video on CO2, you know, um, for Ron's competition. Uh, if you haven't checked his competition out, he's offering a free CO2 diffuser if you make a video on CO2. So check out his channel, Ron Sovine. Um, cool guy, cool tanks. But yeah, these are a bunch of the plants that I picked just as starters. I've got uh, a bunch of Rotolas in the back, a few different types, Green Mario, Red Mario behind there, some Ludwigia, um, Bacopa, Baby Tears, Dwarf Sage up front, I've got some Corkscrew Vowels, um, Pennywort, Moneywort, Temple plants. Uh, yep, that's just some of the starters, and I'll just keep adding. Uh, you know, this is not a scape tank. This is just a grow out tank, so it's I just put them in there. Um, but yep, here's the start. We'll see how these lights work. Also, uh, hope your tank's doing well. Bye, guys.